Well, good day, kids. Mr. Gebhardt here with another devotion from God's Word for you. Got a question for you. Do you have somebody that you are so close to that you think the same thoughts? When you're choosing that game to play, you both mention the same one, sometimes even at the same time. You like the same foods, you play the same sports, listen to the same music. It's like the two of you are one person. But Jesus and God the Father and the Holy Spirit are one. It's really hard for us to understand. I, let me give you an illustration. Maybe that'll help, but even this isn't going to be perfect. So, what's that? Yep, that's right. It's an egg. Can you tell me some of the parts of the egg? That's right. There's, there's the shells. You know, the shell goes on the outside. What's the shell's job? Keeps the inside of the egg safe. And it also is breathable so that as the baby chicken's growing inside the egg, it can still breathe, but it keeps it safe, keeps it healthy inside there. Then there's the yolk. That eventually becomes baby chicken. And then there's the egg whites. The egg white provides nutrients for the baby chicken as it's growing so that it can go ahead and fully form and become the chicken that it's supposed to be. They're all three the same parts. You know, they're all individual parts. They've all got their own individual components to it and their own purpose. Remember the shell, the egg, the, the egg white and the yolk. All of them are, they've all got their own individual purpose, but they are all 100% egg. You can't say, well, that's not part of an egg. That's not egg. No, they're all part of the same egg. And so it's like I said, it's kind of hard for us to understand. Some people that study the Bible for their whole life can fully wrap our heads around that. And it's something that we won't probably fully understand until we're in heaven. But before Jesus was crucified, his prayer to the Father God included a plea that all believers would be one with them. Isn't that cool? God prayed for you before you were even born. That they would be one with them and think the same thoughts and act in the same way. John 17, and we'll start at verse 20 and read through 21. And it says, and it's in red. What does that mean? And Jesus is speaking here. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them which also shall believe on me, which means those who are believers or Christians, though through their word, that they may all be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they are also may be one in us and in the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So he's praying for all of us to be in one, one accord, to think much like God, to act like him. So when I'm acting like Christ and you're acting like Christ, then we should be acting kind of like each other, right? Because we're both acting like Christ. When I'm thinking like Christ, and you're thinking like Christ. Should we be thinking the same sort of things? And you know what? I think if we all did that, life would be a lot more peaceful and a lot more joyful if everybody all thought like God and acted like Christ. Something to think about today. I hope things are going well for you. Praying for you guys. I miss you a whole lot. Can't wait till we can all get together in junior church and back at the main services. Stay safe. Have fun. Listen to your parents. Love you. Bye.